legado. Hey, beautiful. One of these days we'll meet under happier circumstances. So this is an intervention. We probably should have had one in the family before now. We're trying to be honest, Hope. You should do the same. Okay, honestly, I understand why my dad used to dagger you all the time. Did you come here because you feel guilty? You are technically the one who killed me after all. I was trying to respect your wishes. And as much as I would have wished for anything else, I believed you were strong enough to handle it. You're right. I am. Sweetie. Being feared and being strong are two different things. When Rebecca told me that you threatened our family... Don't tell me you weren't scared. Isn't that why you didn't bring the little rug rat with you? What I was and am is sad for you. The Michaelsons have done terrible things over the centuries. In that respect, we are very much the same. Where we differ is that we've all come to realize that no matter how powerful we are, our greatest strength is family. Your father made us see that. I named my child after him for a reason. And the name he gave you has meaning too. Maybe you'll understand that if you ever choose to become a parent. I don't get that choice. That was taken from me when I turned. When you helped me turn. Oh, why would you think that? Because vampires can't have families. And that's why you want the cure. It's true. But as Freya rightly pointed out to me, your father had you. He was a hybrid. You are the tribrid. You are literally Nick's blood. So it would seem just as possible for you to conceive like Haley did. Stop. Just stop. We mean to bring you hope, not hurt. But either is humanity. Don't tell me you want him back. Not after you left him behind when you moved to that fancy boarding school. But if you do, I'm sure we could work something out. <laughs> it's the price of that stupid toy is my humanity, Marcel, and you can keep it. When you found this and gave it back to me, I was in a pretty dark place, like you. This toy reminded me of a time when I wasn't. It still does. Here's what I don't get about astral projection. How can I sit down next to you but not grab that toy? Yeah, how do your feet touch the ground but not go through it, all right? It's witch stuff. Best not to think about it. You look silly in that suit. <laughs> Thanks. It's one of Elijah's old ones. And that is minus one point. Two points if I count what you said about Percival. I stopped giving myself points for doing good things. Subtracting them from my mistakes a long time ago. Mostly because you told me to. <laughs> That's ironic, because I've been keeping them for you ever since that same talk. I wanted to prove to you how hard you were being on yourself. How much the good outweighs the bad. Maybe back then. I made up for lost time lately. I'd like us to do the same. Come back inside with me, Hope. Our family needs to lay cloths to rest. My father's never gonna be at rest until he knows I'm gonna be okay. Which means you know you're not okay. And that's the first step. <laughs> What's the last step? Hmm? I'd like to end this morbid family reunion. Tell you what, come back with me and I'll give you 10 points. I'm not a kid anymore. Earn those 10 points and Vincent will drop the spell that's keeping you here. Now do we have a deal 